So hello and welcome to this future music magazine video from our modular monthly series on the tool scam, Strackle Orsel and Scorn de Basque. So here we'll take a look at the Strackle Orsel, the tube, distortion, crude VCA, drone generating noise and feedback Yoro rack module. Now there's just a few controls that are very interactive. We start with a distortion in the bottom right, a volume or level between the two tubes, and these are new old stock Russian tubes. We can make the first tube act like a pentode or a triode, which gives tonal differences. We can turn on feedback, and this is then the feedback amount on the bigger red knob, and we have an input and an output on the top. We can add some CV modulation, which you've got to get the level set kind of just right for that to be applicable. We'll look at that later. So here's my basic sound. It's the green trace on data, a quite simple triangle sine-like wave that is multiple oscillators detuned. So let's just listen for a second. It's quite a deep note, so you'll need speakers or headphones on, and it's just got a bit of noise on it. That is from the source signal. Now here that signal is through the strike colossal. It sounds like it's modulating because of the detune. If I turn that off, so that's now my input, a static sound. The distortion's also static. But I like the detune. So distortion amount. Volume or level between the two tubes. Pentode triode mode. And one's a bit more fizzier in the kind of upper mids and, and high end than the other feedback which and a whole other character to the sound it's very interactive but when we make our input sound move here it is static let's add a VCA Now let's send this in. And you can hear the amount of drive we can get will pull all this noise up like an overly compressed and squashed. Drone with feedback. Great for either subtly warming up. Let's try and do that. There's a bit of crunch there. Some softer clipping on these peaks, but it excels at just being driven and squashing things. So here's a drum sound. Totally dry, kick, snare, and hi hat. And here that is through the module. more bonkers stuff is really fun when we actually mix it against the dry sound. So 
So just quiet in the background. So that's just a quick look at its sound. Let's jump into some other patches using it like a VCA or a noise and drone generator. So here we're going to use the Strakel Orsel as a noise generator and an oscillator. Now it's a noisy feedback oscillator with no volt proctive tracking. You're not going to expect tubes to volt proctive track generally. And we can also get a lot of noise. So let's start with the noise. The feedback switch is down. Let's just play around. Watch your ears. Uh, there's going to be some really high frequency sounds and some of it quite aggressive. So some of it's high and whistly. Some of it much harsher which is interesting as a noise source for making percussion it's not just white noise running this through low pass gates vcas filters there's a lot of interesting tones and modulation to be had if you're willing to explore them for some unique things but it makes for a great modulator so here's a waveform through a bandpass filter and i'll just sweep the filter Let's take all this noise we've just been listening to and patch it in to modulate that filter's cutoff. Some great crispy audio rate tones. I'm just going to move from band pass to a low pass. Play around with the module. Gives the filter all sorts of like down sampled vocal formant like tones. Kicking in the feedback. It gets a lot more extreme. So let's listen to the module with a feedback switch up, and this is going to create oscillator-like tones. Again, we'll just play around. Feedback is like a crude pitch control. It doesn't quite work. Let's try modulating it. doesn't track but it is possible to animate it now as the oscillator is kind of good for drones and just performance based more dissonant random tube feedback let's run it through some reverb So first through a reverb. This is quite a big reverb, but I'll go 50-50 wet. And you can almost play notes playing around with the knobs. for sampling and sound design it's you know it's not going to be your oscillator that you make all your sequences with but for as i said sampling sound design resampling and creating your own tones and instruments in other bits of hardware it's fantastic so here we have 
the Scorn de Basque drone and abstract rhythm generator. Now it's free oscillators, again not volt per octave trackable, but we can CV influence them. These can be at high or low rates on the second switches. And we can route them into the audio input for this 24 dB low pass filter, or we can route them into the modulation bus and use them to modulate the filter. This drives the waves into the filter. We have a separate audio input to the filter. So if we want to take away the kind of bonkers chaoticness of the Skonda Basque, we can just use it as a filter. And these can actually become LFOs to modulate the filter. It's an interesting and very different kind of use to maybe what the intention of the module is or the initial impression of the module. We can add some CV modulation over cutoff, but let's just play around and see what abstract rhythms and drones we can create. I'm going straight out of this into the scope, straight into my mixer, nothing else involved. Very resonant filter. Let's turn up the modulation bus. Drive these waves into it. Again, there's a lot of very interesting tones. As soon as we plug a signal into the filter input though, it cuts the sound out. And at the minute we're just left with a filter, which will self-oscillate. Let's plug in a oscillator. Let's say saw-like wave. Great sounding, dirty, driven filter. Let's turn up the modulation bus, so these will now only modulate this. Regardless of the switch settings, this cuts them out by plugging an external signal in. interesting just mixing these free running completely out of sync LFOs as a modulation source. Let's try some lower rate stuff. And it'll just kind of ping the resonance on the filter. There's a lot of kind of lovely bonkersness to be had. Very gestural and strange. So let's use it as a filter and modulation source in a more traditional patch. And then we'll get on to really exploring this kind of abstract drone side through some effects to close out the video. So here's a patch showing how we can actually tame the scorn de Basque. Let's play with the filter, see what it sounds like. It's got quite a nice raspy character. Let's try some resonance. like clipped driven resonance kind of sound. 
And having three unsynced, free running LFOs gives some interesting modulations over this filter. Turning these down, I can just modulate it with an envelope. Now I'm going to use the envelope into the modulation and use the mod bus, but just one of these oscillators will modulate. And I'm going to modulate the rate of that as well. So we have an LFO that speed is being modulated and an envelope modulating this filter. Now let's hear it through the Stracol Orsel, the tubes and we'll just smash it into them. Why not? There's lots of feedback there, let's tame that a bit. It's a great distortion sound. Let's add some feedback. This filter with its raspy resonance into this with lots of feedback around these tubes just sounds really gnarly and great. They're a really good pairing. So this patch is heavily CV modulated. The three oscillators on the Skonda Basque, some of which are modulating the filter, some of which are running into it and pinging it because they're not at audio rate, so they're their little LFO signals are just kind of hitting this resonance and giving us all these odd little quirks, as you've heard in the previous patches. This is going through a 2HP freeze. This is a buffer style beat repeat module into a crunchy PT delay module and into a stereo reverb. So let's just play around. Thanks for checking out this video with the Scorn de Basque and the Strikel Orsel modules, capable of warm musical tube distortion, but it excels more at crazy full on distortion, the Strikel Orsel and unpredictable tube feedback stuff, and then the drone and abstract rhythm generator that is Scorn de Basque. An interesting kind of world of sound. Be sure to check out other modular monthly videos on the Future Music channel. Cheers. <laughs>